<gasps> Sorry, mosquitoes landing on my fingers. Are you recording or not? No! Stop it. Cut it out. A Viking made me do it. Alrighty guys, don't get lazy on me. This channel is about cheap and easy, but all these little things I've been sharing with you are tidbits of something that's really cool. And what we're gonna be trying to do is make our own homemade fertilizer for our hydroponics. So all these little parts are like building blocks, so don't take just part of it and think you're gonna go do it in your garden and it's gonna change everything because this is part of something bigger and I think you're gonna enjoy it. I was on a channel, Garden Like a Viking, and Nate was showing how to make this is one of the ingredients that goes into the biochar so I'm doing that besides saving my pee in a jar too and and all kinds of stuff to make natural fertilizers and I'm having a ball with it but I made that yesterday and I wasn't expecting anything to happen for the first 24 hours so I just set it up there and Keely was like okay have fun and I came in today to work on Keely's bamboo for the water catchment you'll see that in a second and I heard drip drip and I looked up there and the thing's totally separated and it's dripping lactic acid bacillus all over my shelf and all over here so I'm gonna pull that down and set it in let me get a tray to set it in and I'm gonna leave it there uh, obviously I should add a bigger container so let me get up there and grab that Ooh, lactic acid bacillus all over the place that's awesome look at it here where the stickers not that's how you make cheese, boys and girls. That's cheese up there. Curds and whey. When you hear curds and whey, right? Little Miss Muffet eating her curds and whey. This is what they used to do in the old days. They just take whole milk and they they put something in to make it curdle like that. Usually I would heat up the milk and put a little lemon juice or vinegar and it separate like that. We make homemade cheese out of it. So this is actually cheese up on the top. This is the lactic acid down here. This is what we're after down here. Now, I messed up. I went back and watched the videos and Nate said to get a two gallon container. I've got a one gallon container, but I'm kind of glad I did because if I would have did in the two gallon container, this would have just happened and I would have just thought, okay, I did things the right way. But this, watching this right here, this gets me excited. Just knowing you can see all of the lactic acid kind of dripping out here, right? And you can see it dripping off of here and watching this happen just lets me know that something's happening in there that that's nature when we're doing the hydroponics and we're growing stuff outside and we put our sprouts in there sometimes we wait a month before they even start to get a little bigger and you have to put any kind of nutrients in and you're just sitting there watching them slowly grow right it's like that saying watching grass grow but here when this was sitting up there and it's just dripping I know that something's happening there there's something going on in here that that's causing it to release gas that there's billions of little microbes in that in here going to work and you can actually see it and you probably can't hear it, but I can hear it once in a while just a little hiss like this stuff going up through here and and it just getting you know over the top here so this to me sitting here watching this really gets me excited it's seeing things happen because there's a lot of stuff that's going to go on with rebuilding our soil we're actually going to use this this is one of the ingredients in the biochar i'm not going to show you how to do this i'm going to leave a link to nate's video on how he did it like i said there's no sense in me redoing a whole video right when the information is already out there so go check out garden like a viking and he's going to show you how to make this let me set this down it's I'm still dripping. It's it's going all down my arm. I'm going to be healthy because I got probiotics all down my arm. I love it. And this down here is what we're after. This is the lactic acid and that's going to be the one ingredient. So I might let this go another day and let it just, you know, keep doing its thing because this has only been 18 hours. And I wasn't expecting it to totally separate until tomorrow. Right. So it, it gets pretty warm out here. So it, it's not an insulated room. This is just our studio. So it's pretty warm out here and I let the milk come to room temperature too because I figure if I had the rinse water with the culture in there and if I put it in the cold water it might just put them to sleep right away. So I let the milk come to room temperature, added it in 
and put in a warm room here so maybe that's what caused it to to happen so quick but the smell is like awesome some people might not care for it might think it's like soured milk or whatever but i've made cheese before so that just gets me excited whenever i kind of smell that so i'm gonna let this go for another day just like i said so that we can get the maximum amount of you know things growing in here and i'm gonna leave it sit on here although this that falls out here is just lactic acid too we can just put that in the compost get that going a little kickstart so every little bit of this right here we've just made this this was one gallon of milk it was like 4.99 or whatever right however much milk costs wherever you live and this right here one ounce to one gallon so you're talking about what we have half a gallon 64 ounces you're talking about 64 gallons of lactic acid bacteria that you can put on your garden for four bucks so that's a deal but this is one of the ingredients that's going to go into the biochar so i'm going to do that i'm going to mix up a little batch of biochar and then i'm going to take the rest and put it in a watering can tomorrow and go around the garden and start watering everything so this was very easy to make it's not that expensive it's homemade it's two ingredients it's rice which you get to eat the rice all you're doing is taking the rice rinse water and milk and you've got you something to kick start the soil out in your garden so I'm excited about that this is just one of the things that we're going to be doing on a continuous basis a viking made me do it i hope you all are excited too go check out nate's channel and give that a try it's not that expensive and it's something that can really help your garden out all righty let's start right here with our first hybrid raised bed and basically guys it's like building a raised bed i just got uh two by ten down here you can go two by eight two by twelve however deep you want to make it we're just building up a little thing for a little herb garden so Keeley's got a bunch of her flat leaf curly parsley thyme a bunch of different oreganos back there there's a variegated a Cuban a Greek oregano sage rosemary got a little nasturtium going there and some uh, lavender in the back and right down the middle got some peas just for fun because we're testing out, you know, it's nitrogen fixer. And then I like this where we built this up. And I just stapled that on there. We've got this box up here, it's just a basic box. Made out of one by sixes. And all we did was cut a little chunk off the end and left a little gap so water can flow out here as well as drill a few holes right up in here here you go so you can get some drainage and it's just supported by a two by four we've got these hurricane brackets on here it's good enough to hold that up if you're going to make that any bigger at the top you want to put some 45s in here going both ways to hold it but just because this one has just one that hole's good enough and then we put some brackets here so that we can hang well she's got stevia over here and we haven't even got anything on those yet in the box up top I just made it out of one by sixes so that I could put one of my downspouts in there mulch so basically that's it like I said not too complicated if you guys need a detailed description of that let me know I'll do a video so the lactic acid the biochar among other things is all part of a bigger process and that process is trying to make a homemade organic fertilizer that we're going to be using in our hydroponics now I know it seems like it's kind of difficult and lots of people say it doesn't work so that's why I want to try it so that's why I'm changing stuff up in the garden and building out our soil is because to understand these natural things to make something homemade it, we have to go back to nature and do like what Marty talks about letting nature do the work instead of working against nature I have to actually build a soil and find out what makes it work and how mother nature works so we're going back to the basics and getting stuff like this rice and milk right this is just hardwood charcoal no chemicals no anything and we're going to be trying to grow 
without bringing in any outside fertilizers. Now, that might seem difficult, and this is just part of the process, so I, I hope you guys want to come along for the journey. If not, you can tune back in a year or two years from now and see if we, you know, figured anything out. But I just figured, you know, if I'm doing this, maybe some of you out there who are already growing like this and want to experiment that it's going to be products that we can go out and get that are pretty readily available they're cheap rice milk's not that expensive and it's stuff that we can work with and experiment and instead of me doing like thomas edison and, and trying figuring out 1000 ways of how not to make a light bulb before you figure it out maybe one of you out there can figure something out that i don't and then we can just share it with everybody so like i said this is bigger than just me or just this channel this is about all of us trying to do something that a lot of you are concerned about. Over the past couple of years, I've had people asking me about organic fertilizers. And basically, if we're doing cheap and easy, we want to come down to just getting something that says organic, pour it in, and hopefully it works. Now, one thing, those usually aren't cheap, and you have to keep buying them over and over. And if you're into traditional hydroponics where you're using pumps, filters, aeration meters all the fancy gadgets and everything it might work but as far as like cracky hydroponics and just putting some nutrient solution in it doesn't really work with that now we've got master blend you know we've been using that that works well uh some other people use general hydroponics i've used that too that one works well the thing is that if we keep buying we have to keep purchasing to keep growing and if we can do something like Mother Nature and we can learn to use natural methods to make something, then that way if something happens, which is some of the concerns that a lot of people have had with uh, the last couple of years we had like lockdown, then our economy went kind of bad, right? Like on a global scale. And then there's a scare of uh, fertilizer being scarce and, and all of these concerns. And, and I've got people in all these different communities the the gardening community the preppers the homesteaders just permaculture all these different communities and people always sending messages and asking questions and and it just makes me think and the the question that somebody asked me it seems like you know somebody asked me a question and, and it made me change into doing permaculture and people think that i'm having a crisis or don't know what i'm doing on the channel or trying to do it in a different direction that question was asked to me two years ago it wasn't just last month and then I decided to change directions on here if you guys go back through my channel you'll see that I actually grew a cover crop on a test spot in my yard I called the video uh, I grew a hundred thousand microgreens you know so I just did a little video like that but that was actually a cover crop a testing of a cover crop uh, I did another video a few years back where I said I'm done with cracking and I was throwing out the downspouts and, and said I'm going to do the back to Eden method with the wood chips, right? That happened at the time when we it's our annual time to, to mulch again. So I figured, you know, I'll go ahead. We were doing that over years and years and years. Why don't we try and stick some plants in there? It was testing the soil after we had gone through like four years of mulching. So over the years we've been doing this when you guys seen in the very beginning the squash the four and a half pound squash and and all the other ones that were on the butternut that was a gift from nature it just grew on its own a volunteer plant you know what they call it just grows on its own and boom we've got a four pound squash and it came out of a compost pile that we've been building for a few years so these things have been going on and on and on and there's little hints and tidbits along the way where I was testing with it. And what you guys are seeing now is where when the world's coming together, you know, you kind of seeing the, the shift, the turn where I have to get everything more involved. So this isn't like one month, all of a sudden, I don't like hydroponics anymore. I'm going to do permaculture. This is where we're trying to make a homemade fertilizer to go into our hydroponics. And to learn how to do that, I have to understand nature. I have to understand how mother nature figured all this out and how it's been working if we want to do it natural right so i'm experimenting with these things i want to do with things that are readily available that that just about everybody can get so that you can try it too and you can help out and we can all just share their information and who knows on down the line you know somebody one of us might figure out how we can all make our own fertilizer grow our own food with simple objects that we have 
that are readily available that we don't have to go out and keep purchasing. Now, wouldn't that be fantastic? So I think that's an awesome thing to aspire to and, and that's what this channel is and, and we've been doing, you know, thinking about this for years. I just didn't want to get everybody kind of mixed up and convoluted along the way. This is a chance now that I have to to learn from nature, I have to build soil, I have to figure out how it works and, and the microbes. I want to build a living soil and, and figure out what's happening because basically what we're working with is barren land. And if we use fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides, all of that goes in and kills all of the natural life in the soil. And that's why we have to keep adding and adding and adding and buying and adding, right? So nature throughout history has learned how to grow stuff on its own. And these things do it over and over and over effortlessly. And that's why I like the Back to Eden thing is that he talks a lot about that. And some people don't like it and some people put it down and, and say wood chips don't work and all that. But they're missing the underlying thing is that it's working with nature. And like I said, all of these little things that we're doing along the way, these are building blocks. These are things that you're going to need for that these are things that we're going to be experimenting with so there's lots of other channels like I said at uh, uh, garden like a viking uh he's doing a lot of natural things there's a lot of other channels out there uh you guys if you whatever ones you like just let me know in that but um we're not going to be buying a bunch of fertilizers i don't want to bring a bunch of stuff in i want to work with natural things and see what we can do and and we might be like thomas edison and and we might figure out a thousand ways not to do it before we figure out a way to do it but I'm um, persistent, and if you guys know that this has been going on for years, and I can wait another couple of years too, if we figure something out like this that helps the people of the planet, what's a few years, right? Alrighty, so you guys get out there. That's a plan. You guys keep doing like you always do. Share it up. We'll help everybody out. Lift, inspire, keep on growing, and be the change. We'll catch you next time. I was bleeding, nothing to believe in Leaving all my pressure and mistakes Wanted better, nothing to remember So I'm freeing up my brain Take me flying salad it's for the kitty oh he's asleep